Welcome to another video in the Resolve introductory video series. My name is Brent Hunter and in this short video we're going to take a look at Resolve's decision trees and guided procedures in Resolve Actions. Decision trees are useful as interactive guided document searches and complement keyword or tag searches. They also support data collection during problem analysis and resolution. Troubleshooting guides are common examples of decision trees. But most importantly, decision trees in Resolve can be combined with runbooks, automations, and knowledge. The automation of certain steps can be embedded in the process, so decision trees provide a means for executing guided procedures. This is useful when a series of steps requires user decisions as well as input and is key to implementing knowledge-centered support or KCS solutions. Let's have a look at an example and then we'll look behind the scenes at how they are built and configured. Now I have opened the Skype troubleshooting guide which includes a decision tree you can see on the screen now. The first page of this troubleshooting document includes several automations to perform some diagnostics such as checking the Skype servers and services as well as connecting to the user's endpoint device to check their Skype registry settings and connection config. From these initial diagnostics, we can determine if their issue is a connection issue or even ask the viewer of this page if there is another problem, such as a call quality problem. And you can see those questions here at the top of this decision tree. The question is what type of issue is occurring and we have two answers offered here. It's either going to be a call quality issue or a connection issue. Each answer takes a different path in our decision tree and leads to different pages or automations you know, that include automations within them to troubleshoot the issue even further. In a moment, I'll demo how I will select the call quality answer, which will lead to the network assessment tool page. And using the automation in that page, I'll be able to answer the next question about what the network assessment tool has discovered. Okay, let's switch over to the demo. You will instantly recognize the decision trees, questions and answers here on the top left of the page. This is now what we call the guided procedure, designed to keep the viewer of this page on piste rather than getting distracted by anything else. Now before I can answer that question, I may need to view the information on the main page here or initiate an automation. In this specific example, the automation collects those initial diagnostics that we were talking about earlier. And I can now see that all of the Skype online services are in good health and it looks like I have a call quality issue. So I can click on the call quality answer here. As per the configured decision tree, Resolve will now download the Microsoft Network Assessment Tool to my laptop and start collecting statistics on the network. And those technical results will be customized specifically for an end user by Resolve and presented on the screen here. You can also include additional knowledge information on these pages to better educate your community or simply provide further instructions. Now that the tool has completed, it's telling me that I have an average jitter issue. So I can now answer the next question in my decision tree, which leads me to a knowledge base article on what the typical causes of excess jitter might be and how to resolve that. A decision tree model can call on other pages, runbooks, or automations, and this is common in troubleshooting decision trees that use runbooks to run diagnostics or solutions. Building a decision tree model is as simple as dragging and dropping elements from the designer panel and then joining them together. As an example, I need to add an additional answer to this specific question. We've developed a voice over IP troubleshooting guide and that would be a good link from this question if the network assessment tool doesn't actually discover any network related issues. So to add that into this decision tree model, I can just drag this element, type in the answer text, as well as the document or page that the user will be directed to when the you know when selecting this answer and that's all done now guided procedures help your organization eliminate issue escalations to level 3 staff or SMEs let's get that knowledge documented and resolved so your staff and end user community can safely and securely execute automations to troubleshoot and resolve issues as well as obtaining knowledge by themselves now there are several additional features in Resolve decision trees, uh, such as the auto answering of questions by using data retrieved from a already run automation, and the nesting of pages and automations within other decision trees. 
Furthermore, decision trees and guided procedures can be initiated in a self-service manner, you know, like what we did in today's demo, or from an ITSM ticketing tool by clicking on a button, as well as taking the ticket context into consideration too. Thank you for watching this video on decision trees and guided procedures in Resolve Actions, the service orchestration and automation platform from Resolve.